and welcome back to more No Man's Skies Orbital. No Man's Sky Orbital. Skies? Sky? We're back in orbital. Uh, the space anomaly beyond the system. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna follow a little bit of the main quest and then we get sidetracked along the way, as always. So, but yeah, first I have to empty my inventory. We have so much going on. Like I have to sell some stuff and we need to talk to Nada up in the space bubble over there. Anyway, welcome back to the stream. It has been a couple of days since we played um, No Man's Sky. I probably need to play a little bit of No Man's Sky between our streams because there's gonna be a bit of a grind, which is fine, but I want to play through the main story at least once, which I haven't done before. Similar to Fallout 4, I never really played through the story before. Anyway, Roy, how are you? I hope you're doing well. Thank you very much for anybody joining the stream. And if you're watching this video, I hope you're gonna have a good time. Okay, so let's uh, first of all get our things. Um, we have to get our discoveries. I think that uploads everything, isn't it? Upload all, yeah, exactly. We need to talk to Iris, hopefully get some more. We usually get quite a lot there, 233, and then we're gonna talk to Helios and see if we get a few more. There we go, very nice. No more beard, yes. Sadly not. Baby face. Um, the beard had to go. Just for a couple of months. And now we'll be back. Um, priest entity Nada. We have to talk to Nada about the anomaly. It has been some time. Polo has missed you. Explain the portal. I explained my journey through the portal, my vision of the strange world on the other side. How I awoke a long way from my ship. Nada looks at me with concern. Your journey was longer, you uh, Oh, if your, uh, your journey was longer, you might realize portals have much in common with your home. With our home, the travel is anomalous. That means nothing to me. But you're unharmed, yes. You feel complete, you feel not crimson. Yeah, let's just go with that. Nada is pleased. Old portals are strange, but so is our home. Polo is clever. Atlas Falls entity cannot see us. Polo uses Atlas Falsity against themselves. Okay. Oh, we got some more Quicksilver. That's really cool. We keep getting Quicksilver rewards. How are you? Are you hungry? That's the customary greeting. Stuart, how are you? Ten years younger kicks. Yes, exactly. Too many chats. Uh, I told Nada you'll be fine. Traveler friend, poor Nada, they do get nervous. Ask about the strange worlds. Actually, I want to go into a black hole as well at some point. Uh, one such place did not exist, could not be seen, but now every second more appear, they seep through a new creation. I do not know where these new worlds come from. All right, um, we're not going to do this right now because. Look for a new... Yeah, that's the one we're doing, yeah. So, purchase technology blueprint or new base parts aboard the Anomaly. Undertake missions to travelers from the Nexus or exchange discovery. Oh, okay, so this is kind of... Okay, that's weird. Because that is very generic, like... Foreboding crimson geometry of an atlas station houses an interface with creation itself while in space access the galaxy map Yeah, sure. Let's go and do the atlas Let's follow the atlas missions for a little bit Sometimes you type you don't read what you send that can get you into trouble It can get you in trouble especially with work or with, with the wife boss I think we got kind of everything at this stage that we are uh, looking for for now anyway. So let's let me see actually something here. Um, our multi tool is ball buster. Uh, 
I change my multi tools with. Yeah, with control one. Oh! Why is it not changing back? Oh, okay, so I actually assigned it like that. I couldn't remember what I assigned to it. Okay. Will you be playing the new Dead Island? Um, I didn't play any of the DLCs, actually. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know why, actually, to be honest. Um, I've never seen them advertised. <laughs> When I go to Steam, I don't see them advertised, so I didn't even know they were a thing to come out. I suppose they're not doing themselves any favors, not advertising it. Yes, I have to go over here first and sell some things. Oh, we also have to go to our capital ship, of course. Because the missions are back, so uh, the missions are finished, so we at least have to go and see what, what we got from them. And we got some bulkheads as well for freighters. Oh, it's on Xbox Game Pass, okay. Yeah, it's very strange, I didn't see any of this. The last DLC either, I didn't even know it existed. Derelict freighters, what? Derelict freighters are dangerous environments, full of environmental hazards. Oh yeah, that's the one where you fight uh, the creatures inside and you get that weird stuff that you sell to the scrappers, whatever they're called. First, let me check with you. We have multi-tool expansion slot. And walker brains, never say no to walker brains. And also get this because we can sell it again. Okay. Um, frostproof deflector. Yeah, we keep that. Go. And I think that's it. Yeah, the rest, I want to put stuff in my freighter. There we go. We have access to storage now. Excellent. So, what about all the stuff we crafted? Does that go into the freighter as well? Well, I'm going to the freighter now anyway, and then I can access the storage there, so it's fine. Oh, yeah. The upgrades. Let me see if we have a slot. Not in this one, actually. So, um, if we go to this one. Do we have another up upgrade slot? Do indeed. There we go. And there's nothing to sell. I just want to make sure. All these things I want to get rid of. Um, Starship. Yeah. yeah, this here is something that I definitely need for crafting something. I forgot what it was, but we definitely needed it. Can we make a tier 3 card? Actually, I also think I don't need to keep the tier 1, because if I have the tier 2 Atlas card, I can get rid of this one. So we, could, we should be able to leave this one at home leave that with the ship because I think we only need to have the two on us and that can open version ones as well uh, Diablo 4 yeah um, I'm looking forward to the new update they're supposed to have done some improvements um, I'm, I might not play it on stream but I definitely will play it uh, for myself the new DLC for Diablo 4 
Yeah, I missed all the DLCs for Dead Island. It's very strange. Okay, so I want to keep as many of the res of the generic resources here on me as possible, because I always need them. Um, golden stuff probably can leave the ship. But any like these things here, the craftables, them into the freighters, I guess. Let's see. And this is the bulkhead for the freighter. use them in anything? Oh, look at that. We can make a fuel oxidizer. And, oh, yeah, that's the stuff that we need for the freighter, I think. If we want to, I think it allows us to give something to a freighter. Uh, something like that. Can I craft the V3? V3, Emerald. Yes, that's what I wanted to do today. I wanted to start getting into Emerald, Emerald. Now I remember. I couldn't remember what I was actually wanting to do, but now I do remember. Antimatter. So we need storm crystals for that. I thought the antimatter. There we go. Warp cells. What am I missing? Antimatter housing. Oh, yeah. One antimatter housing coming up. Also, this one I found in an empty station as a recipe. It's something that you can unlock as well in the anomaly. I just found that recipe, so just in case you wonder where that, where that came from. There we go. And now we have warp cells. Brilliant. So we have actually made use of that. Freed up a little bit of room and warp cells. Oh, do we not use them for things, the warp cells? Oh, there, yeah, Starship Hyperdrive. So if we go to that, we can use them to fill them up. Very good, I like it. Um, yeah, nothing to sell, but let's go up to our frigate. Oh, to our capital ship, I guess. And see what we got from the missions. And I also want to put the bulkheads in. Actually, I don't know. Do I want to do the bulkheads now or do I want to wait until I have a really high level ship? Because in the moment, I don't really need them for anything. So I think I can leave them in um, my starship storage, I think. Yeah, I think I will do that. I will put them to my starship storage. Okay, let's go across. Oh, did we not have three active or we only had two active, I think? Yeah, that's right. Nope, only one. Because it was a two star or something and we nearly had all our ships and it wasn't. Yeah, that was a big boy. Fleet command online. Um, debrief commander. Okay, four, six. We got some dream aerial, okay. 380,000 credits. 500 chromatic metals. Nothing found. Gathered no data. Another 350, so nearly a million credits. Ooh, what is this? CS5 wings continued with the emission despite heavy damage. Oh, okay, sorry, I totally found something. Warped out. Granite. Oh, Crantine, six. Retreated. Controlled, burned. Oh, yeah, definitely got a million credits now. Oh. 1.25 million credits. Losses, dramatic. So we actually had damage and losses. Genie, Mac, we got more money. And that's it. So we got what? Dream Arrow. Oh, we actually found the formula for that. Okay, whatever that is for. Signal receiver and amplifier tuned to the wavelength of the unconscious mind. It is every... It is every color uh, all at once, splitting the surrounding light into a shimmering rainbow. Carrying this antenna into deep space may attract the attention of cosmic megafauna. What the hell does that even mean? Oh, there, Crantine. Yeah, very good. Okay, that's exciting. And is it 1.5 million? Yeah, 1.6. Very good. 
Okay, and probably our whole fleet is damaged and stuff. Do you know what? We might as well put it into our storage and harvest it every time they grow. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Very good. Ethereal, how are you? Uh, this antenna guides you to your first organic frigate. Oh, that is crazy. Yeah, I, I never done any of that before, so um, I'm definitely gonna try to do a lot of things in this uh, stream series. A lot of things will be, you know, probably... Why is it still showing like that? Okay. Oh, I didn't see we had these corners as well with things filled. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, now go to our storage. Okay, so I want to keep things like um, ferrite, this ferrite, this ferrite. Let's see, is there anything I want to throw in here? Cluster, no. Okay, let's put this in. Right, yeah, we don't really need a lot of that at the moment, so let's put that away. We keep needing these type of things condensed carbon, copper, and this. Oxygen, we always need that. We always need this. And this. And then we have cobalt. And this, yeah. Okay. okay. Storage 2. We're gonna have to put in everything we crafted. Oh, look at this. Living. Oh, that's, that's glass. I thought it was living glass. Oh, look at this. We actually we have some more brain, and this is semiconductors, yeah, so we have some more brain here. Okay. Good. Yeah, that's nice. We have still a lot of room, but we have the bare necessities. Um, bare necessities. Na, 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 na. Yeah. Not my fault. Stuck in the brain. Um, you're 10 years younger, Stuart. Yes, that's right. Yeah. After the first organic, every simple anomaly detector will do the same job. You only have to look for the correct detection icon. Yeah, I don't even know what this is about. Um, I never really played uh, that part of the game. Yeah. Yeah, no, I need um I need to keep it clean in the moment. Um I have to go and get some medical stuff done and um I have to keep clean shaven. So um otherwise that will interfere with that. Uh, just younger but totally different. My husband looks like a different man when he grows a beard too. When he shaves it takes me a while to get used to it. Yeah, it is very strange. Even when I look in the mirror, I, I, it's like I see a different person. It's really strange. Um I'm <laughs> I have to say, less ninety nine percent of what I've had a beard. Yeah, I never had a beard originally, and um, I only started growing a beard. I don't actually know when. Maybe oh, what 
15 years ago I started growing a beard maybe or 15 12 years ago something like that um, no ethereal I'm 25 <laughs> I'm as young as I'm mature ha! 25 forever oh yeah Actually, we have to build a third one here because I have three storages actually downstairs. So we have to build a third one. This one. And we have to build it right here. There we go. Look at that. Nice. Oh, I thought we had some stuff in there. We don't. Okay. Your loss. I'm not gonna kick off a new fleet. Actually, are my fleets broken now? Let me see. Do I see if they need healing or something? And how do we heal them? So if I want to go for something like a trade expedition, two star sounds very promising, I guess. Um, so I want to assign some ships. Oh, we don't have any fuel either. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go and deal with the whole fuel thing first. So uh, yeah, let's not worry about that. Let's not worry about any of that. Chill out, like I'm 35, my son will be 13 this year. I'm 46 uh, and may never grow up when gaming cartoons come to play. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, whoa, 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 easy there. We nearly had an accident. Okay, so let's um, follow the galaxy map first. Atlas Station. So where's Atlas Station? It's all the way here. Is that a new planet? Please let it be a new planet. Dissonant! Oh, I love it! It's new and it's dissonant, which means we're gonna be able to look for a ship type and see if we get a new Sentinel ship type. Proud of years, everyone is a blessing, absolutely. My aim is 135. Yes, um, I think if I if I get past if I get past 60, 65, I'm I'm gonna be very happy. Whoa, okay. What do we have here? That makes for a nice screenshot. It's a bit blurry there. I'm not really happy about that. But overall, this makes a nice screenshot, I think. Unless we can get one without the blur somehow. Is it gonna pull us in? I'm not, I'm not actually flying, it's literally on autopilot. Oh. There we go, look at that. It looks amazing. It's so funny how small our ship is actually in comparison. That's crazy. The eye. How far away can we get? See, now it gets all blurry again. It's kind of shitty. So we have to go a little bit closer, yeah, because it's kind of nice to see 
um, our ship, how small it is. It's like, that is a really nice screenshot. I love the, this is why I love this game. You, 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 everything looks a certain scale. And then when you go into screenshot mode, you actually see the scale. And it's like every time mind blowing that how big it actually everything is around you. It's crazy. Let me just uh, go No Man's Sky screenshots. Sorry, I just need to save that. And then... There we go, save that as well. Nice. Uh, seven days to die still be an alpha. Yes, absolutely. When, when I hit 65, it will probably be seven days to die. Alpha 35. And it will be... There will be another seven days to die. Battle Royale 7. That nobody asked for. <laughs> so this is funny. We already had that encounter. So this is the second time we have this encounter. So one time we had this encounter, one time in band camp. So one time we had this encounter, it was um, through another quest somehow that it triggered. Um, sorry, the reason I'm walking over these is every now and then some of them have new words that you can learn. It depends, so I think it's random. So that's why I walk over all of them. There we go, we found a word. There's one on top here as well, I think. I don't know if it's only the same ones every time. There you go, there's another word. And they're Atlas words, which we're not really getting the chance to learn as much, because um, usually it's Viking and stuff like that, and Gek and whatever nonsense. What is that over there? Can we get over there? That looks amazing. Oh, that looks like death. Yeah, it looks like death over there. Okay, let's walk over these. So whenever I get a chance to actually learn these Atlas words, um, of course I want them. There we go, another one, Endless. And is that it? Is that all the bubbles that we had? I think so. Okay. Oh! Okay. A warp cell? And another warp cell? Oh, you've been very generous. Thank you very much. What is that? Nikubu Singularity. Oh, I wanted the light on. Why is the light off? I want it on. There we go. That's better. Get the enormous, the enormity of it. I don't know. When you play No Man's Sky, how many times do you stop and make screenshots? Honestly. Or at least used to in the beginning, maybe. Like, how many times? When you played it, especially when you played it the first time. Or do you just not care really and don't make really any screenshots? Never! Oh wow! Timber goes, never catch your life. Love the games you play. Are you going to do more Mana Lords? I wasn't sure because Mana Lords is one of those games that uh, uh, I enjoy those type of games, but I get really bad at them once it gets really stressful. I, I'm not good at them. I'm, I'm terrible at them. So uh, the beginning parts I find easy enough to understand and everything, but once it gets then to certain complexity, especially when the army start, I wouldn't mind trying it again. 
especially with combat, you know, with the armies and the invasions and focusing on, on weapons and stuff. But um, I don't know how enjoyable that would be to watch if I'm literally just getting my ass kicked. Um, endless, Rufus, blah, 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 the, uh, the ends. Okay. Okay, there's so many new words I have to learn. Another Atlas interface. How many of those constructs exist in the deep void? How long have they been slumbering, waiting for a traveler? Have they been expecting me? I'm somehow chosen. The Atlas crafted this existence. The Gek, the Viking, the Corvax, the stars that fill the skies. The hatred that burns within the deep. It is God. Every world that turns and every form that lives, the Atlas offers it all. Yeah, sure, whatever. I take the gift of knowledge. Certain in my decision. All doubts silence the stars. Boom, we got the end globe shape, which now needs captured nanoids, which I actually know how to craft. So the Atlas shell holds the remains of a parasitic space-borne life form, most likely of extra-dimensional origins. Okay, uh, what I'm going to do now is, um, clearly, I can craft this one, so I'm going to craft it. So this one here, Atlas Seed, containing zone-shifted quasi-stellar substrate. Warning, do not allow Matrix to commune with this dimensional space. What does this even mean? I don't know, but we can craft this now from it. And still, it has no meaning. Okay. Fine, be like that. You do you. Locate an Atlas interface. Return to the ship. Okay, return to the ship. Is there more words to learn on top? No. I still want to see if I can get up there to these things. Geo Proctor, how are you? Member for 36 months. Thanks for the laughs, Kicks. Uh, thank you so much. Oh, sorry, you said singular laugh, so sorry. Thanks. I apologize. It couldn't give you more than one laugh, but I appreciate it. I appreciate you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Um, Trasha, you used to do fairly often do the screenshots, certain species of planets. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Same with spacecraft. All the spacecrafts, I just can't get enough sometimes making screenshots, especially with certain lighting. Uh, lighting? Lightning? It's absolutely fantastic. So what do you mean? You should craft two of everything. Uh, is that what you're saying? Like you should, well, let's craft a normal one as well. So now we have two. Ba-boom. We have the lower one and the upper one. Okay. I'm, I'm only messing here, but <laughs> I'm only messing. And now it's gone. It's gone. Look, it's gonna go. I think it's gonna go, is it? Is it gonna disappear? Or is it gonna stay here? I'm flying in reverse. It's very difficult. All, always two of the latest iteration. Why? Because up to this point, I don't even need them at all. Such a strange block. <gasps> Ooh, there's a frigate. Okay, let me go to the space station in this, in this universe. And we have to find the dissonant planet. Which one is the dissonant one? Okay, what about this one? Did is this is the dissonant one? 
Um, but first, we're gonna go over to the space station. Oh, I need them for storylines. Yeah, okay. <gasps> no, we have no more pure ferret ferrites. Don't worry, I craft some. Oh shit, I thought that was the entrance. Damn you, station, you're the wrong way around. <laughs> oh my god, you're not even here. Where are they? Okay, really? Now you're just taking the mickey. There you are, finally. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna craft the second one, I guess. Yes, that baby face. I know. Now I can do ASMR, I can do this like. When it's just a little bit of a stubble. I'm preparing for my second channel. The German Sausage Fest. It's gonna be all ASMR. And there's gonna be an OnlyFans, which is also gonna be called Sausage Fest. Oh yeah, let me get the exosuit upgrade. Um, I have enough there. Let me go for for these things here first. Actually looks pretty badass. C class. Nice. Oh, we have two big boys. Two C classes. That's not bad. Nice with some credits. See what guild we have here. <laughs> yeah, so the second YouTube channel is gonna be uh, called Sausage Fest, and it's gonna be all about ASMR, and uh, you know, with my beard, and I don't know whatever people are into. I don't know farting in a jar, burping into my boobs. I don't know. Seems w people are into weird shit, and. Um, uh, then we're gonna have an OnlyFans called Sausage Fest, and that will be showing all my favorite sausages. Literally, it's not euphemism for dick. So, <laughs> next face cream for men, yeah. No, that that special face cream will only be on my OnlyFans. Uh, let me see. Central boundary maps. Ah, you have a Walker brain. Fair enough. Okay. Plasma launcher module. Well, that is 210. I'm sure I get a, be a bonus. Um, so. So if I sell them here, I get profits. Profits. So we sell them, yes, 491 and 298, made a little bit of profit, not the most, but let's see what you sell actually. Toxic protection, thermal protection, cold, life support and shield modules. Ooh. Let me see what I actually have. Oh, I have two S-class shield modules already. Three minutes to make that cream twice a day. <laughs> I'll be right there on all the parts where see it. Just video of me cleaning and doing house chores, yeah. It will drive the ladies mad. Yeah, exactly. Um, we have... Okay, radiation shield is actually important. I, no, I have that here. So I actually have the three type of shields here. Fair enough. So... Is there anything else besides heat, cold? We should probably have two of each, I guess, really. So we should have another cold and hot and another radiation or something. But 
and then we have a movement one. I think we have all the movement ones here completely maxed out. A health one, yes. It would be good to have another health one here. So where would we put it though? I have no space. We, we need this whole thing unlocked so we can start moving health stuff over there maybe. So let's do this. Yeah, I suppose. Let's do this here. And then, yeah, we're one shot. We, ugh, it's terrible. We're short on things. Um, actually, let me see. No, we can't because of this. So we have to leave them here. Yeah. Yeah, we need to unlock these first before we can start moving things around for the life support one. But I want to get the life one anyway. Because we're gonna get a new um, slot now in a minute. Um, so let's get the life support module and see what that looks like. It's gonna be another S rank. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move this one away for now, put this one here. This one is another support. Support 28, 93. Okay, so let's move that like here, move that like here, move that like here. And actually, here. Yeah, okay. So now all uh, both of these should be hyped up. So once we unlock that extra slots, we can move these four over here and then we, sh we should be okay. Oh! Let's go. Actually, one of the things I haven't paid attention to is, um, which I like to do whenever I come to a new space station, is go in, get out, do a save, and then reload and see what the first two waves of ships are. So if you're new to the game, always do that because you might find that whatever station you're at has a really sexy ship flying in within the first two waves because they're always the same ships usually that come in. Um, or at least have a 90% chance, or some some high percent chance of always being certain ships. So if you get an exotic here, you will always get that exotic here. Yeah. Um, so let's reload the restore point. Naked face kicks doesn't look like a sausage, more like a dumpling. <laughs> yes, with all its with with all its trimmings, like urgh, yeah. No, I shouldn't do that. If I do this, er, it looks like I'm pulling my foreskin over. No, anyway. Um, <laughs> I look like a penis. So, it's my quadruple chins. They're not really helping my case. So, let's actually see um, what ships come in here. In the first two waves. Because the, the good thing is then, if you go into screenshot mode, you can actually see the uh, coordinates down there yeah so you see them on the bottom left so if you find a very cool ship make sure you see the coordinates on the bottom left and make a screenshot of it and then you can always come back to the system um, or share it with a friend or whatever and they can come here and uh, get that exotic so let's see what the first two waves are and then we're leaving Yeah, when I shaved, I was saying to my kids, you know, my, my daughter was watching me and I was like, so what do you think about just here, you know, this? Because that's, I used to do that. I used to have a goatee um, before I had a full beard for many years, I had a goatee. And um, then I had also the, the goatee version where it's just the bottom part. I don't know what that's called, where I don't have the mustache, but I shaved everything off and I left a little bit of hair in the middle here. And I said, you know, what do you think? And she said, no, that would probably get you into a lot of trouble. I'm like okay she, she didn't like it <laughs> you know it's for it's funny when you're shaving like from a full beard you have so many variations you can try out as you shave of different things so that was not a very impressive ship not really um but i might try the porn stash who knows it, it might work in my favor i won't be allowed near playgrounds but I definitely will try it out. 
What do we have coming here? That looks so tiny. It's like a little wasp. It's very gimpy. It has two different wings. It has... It has... It doesn't even have the same wings. Oh, there we go. There's something coming in as well. So I don't think we get an exotic here. So the first two waves seem to be just pl pretty bland. This looks like a hauler. Bomb fluff in the UK, yeah. Um, Holly, yeah, so nothing impressive here, so yeah, we have nothing. We don't need to keep that location here. This one is very funny looking though. Uh, Batman's belt, how are you? Okay, so that's the planet we want to go to, but we have to go to the anomaly first to get our our, our other slot. Oh. No, that wasn't the. Oh, where's the planet? Oh, it was the one with the rings, wasn't it? Whoop! This one. <laughs> I have to aim this one so weird there we go that's the one okay so we want to call the anomaly here actually let's get a bit closer to our planet first and then we're gonna call the anomaly cl close to the planet get the extra Uh, exosuit slot and then we're gonna have a quick look and see what type of ship we're gonna find here in the system oh whoa oh wow derelict freighter just popping up like that that is amazing oh wow is that actually a proper one where we can do land on and uh, do the shoot everything inside What is this? Or is this just... Um... you can board those derelict freighters. And walk through them and get some resources and stuff. Maybe not the ones from the anomaly. Yeah, we're just gonna keep shooting that and then more pirates, whatever, show up.
Okay, I think that's it. There was only one container, I think. Okay, let's go back to where the plant. Oh, there we go. That's what I was looking for. Got some gold. Now we have more ships showing up. Go to the other planet again. One of the rings. What is that? Is that Atlas, is it? Let's go to the rings planet. Where is it? Yeah, you can only board the freighters that are in one piece, yeah, okay. we're going to get our extra exosuit slot from that anomaly. And that means we can move around our modules a little bit. And my PC died. I tried running it on my Mac and it runs beautifully. Seven days to die, is it? Yeah, Seven Days to Die is um, a bit of a weird piece with performance and stuff. We should be able to move these guys here. There we go. And now we have these three free, which is nice. Okay, so which means for the shields, shield here.
<laughs> Stuart, my wife said that you look cute, and if I didn't message you, I'm a uh, PU. I don't know. I know. <laughs> oh. Thank you. I'm trying to play this game on and off. It came out, but I just can't get into it. Uh, no Man's Sky. Yeah, No Man's Sky is a bit of, if you mean this game, it is a bit of a weird one. Uh, you, you can get really lost. You can get lost in, in, in the whole big scale of it. Yeah. And um, end up doing a lot of things just randomly for fun, but it's easy to get lost in it and, and kind of lose track of what you actually should be doing. There's a main story that asks you to follow, you know, the guy you meet in the beginning and figure out what happens to him and you'll figure out eventually what happened to him. But, oh, approach the Atlas station, what? Okay, the interference with the crimson ge 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 geometry, no, that's different. We already did all that. But I'm looking for, oh, what is this? What is, this weird what is this planet this planet is just weird looking what the hell that is insane but yeah, so there's a story you can play through, of course, but it also is one of those games where you can just do what you want. I, I would assume it's, it's a bit like Skyrim in that sense. You have a main story you follow, but you can literally do what you want in a way. Whatever the game allows you to do, I guess. You know, there's no base building really like that in Skyrim. But uh, you know what I mean? It's a type of open world game. It's a, like Fallout, the other game we play where, yes, there is a main story. But, you know, do you have to really care about it too much or play it? No. You can do tons of other stuff. Yeah, we're going to try to collect a lot of the things here. Because, uh, yeah, you're right. Because some of these things are actually for bases. What is this? I have no idea what this thing is. Can we interact with it? Oh. Well, that's just ferrite, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. One ferrite and one geode? Okay. Oh my god, we can interact with it. What is this? This looks so crazy. Okay, let's interact with it, I guess. Uh, let me do a save, though, just in case. Oh, I can't do a save here. Um, there is a save point over here, though. Hang on. Yeah, this one. Let's save first before we interact, just in case. Um, I haven't I haven't watched the Halo TV show now. Um, is it where is it? Is it which uh, stream service is that on? It 
terminal blinks waiting input. Download data. I have no idea what this is. Removal from history. Eradicate species? Do not return. Jeez, what is that? The Borg? Oh, we got 10 nanites for it. Wow. After all that, we got 10 nanites. Suck it. Okay. Let's collect some of those lights. Oh, we can't really collect these lights. Oh no, I wouldn't. I, I don't use sights to watch free stuff. Um, not that I have an issue with the sights, I just... There, there's some sights I used to use that uh, I ended up um, trying to put shit on my PC. What is this? Okay, that was weird. So I, I rather pay for a streaming service I don't have yet for one month to watch a series or something and then I cancel again. Like Apple TV in our house, for example, we don't watch it, yeah? But every now and then there's a TV series on it my wife likes. So what we do is we pay for the one month and then she binge watches the series and then we stop paying again. Okay, we can't really pick these guys up, these lights. Um, ooh, what is that? Crazy. Okay, anyway, what we're looking for is mirrors, yeah? So... And we're looking for radiant shards, of course. So let's see if we can find any radiant shards. There's some right, oh no, not radiant shots, um, these mirrors. Is there any here? That's a human, a human sack, a homing sack. So this planet doesn't have any mirrors. If it doesn't have any mirrors, then we can't get an echo. If we can't get an echo, we can't get a ship here. Oh, do you know what, though? You know what I can get here, though? Ha! The oh, okay. You just make some room for yourself. Um, I, I, I do have in my inventory... Oh, hang on a sec. Where is it? Damn it, did I put it away? There it is. So, a carrier AI fragment, a single splinter, and we have a humming crane. Yeah. So, I think if we use this. Oh, should I do this? Yeah. Sell these, and sell these. So, I think these ones will show us a ship here, uh, uh, possibly. Did it not? Oh my god, did it just use it and not show us anything? Light fissure. Oh, nice. That's what you were talking about. Awesome. So 
So, hang on. Sentinel interceptor signal trace in a nearby system track the ship to its final. So it's not on this planet, is it? gonna put that into our base very nice sorry what does it say central interceptor signal trace detect in nearby system track the ship to its final position to acquire central and salvage okay so the plant gets the miner in the air subs oh okay I thought it would be here so it seems that the, if there is no mirrors here, we are not going to get the echo. So, yeah, that's not going to work. Because, we're, yeah, it needs air, uh, mirrors. So not every dissonant planet, I guess, has mirrors. Yeah, there's very little here. All right. Okay, so let's go back here, the Atlas path. Uh, the foreboding crimson geometry of an Atlas station houses an interface with creation itself. While in space access, the galaxy map system is the Atlas station. Okay, let's continue with that. Okay, where do you want us to go now? Oh, there's the other the other planet is actually right here. So let's go and it's also dissonant, yeah. So let's actually go here first. Let's do the ship first that's on the way. And maybe we get a new ship. If it's one that we already have, we just sell it. Unless it's an S-Class or something, that would be amazing. Because we have two interceptors already. Three actually, we have three different interceptors. I know we have the echo, but first we're gonna go space station, get the exosuit, then we're gonna get the exosuit piece. Every time you get into a new universe or into a new anybody who doesn't know the game basically, if you if you every time you get to a new section of space to a new system, you can get an exosuit from the space station and an exosuit slot from the anomaly in the same system. We always have to check out the merchant as well. Um, this guy here, in case um, he has any slots or anything. What do you got? Yes, multi tool slot expansion. Nice, thank you. Neutron cannon module 203 that we can sell that for 400 and this one we can sell for 200 excellent Let's See what do we got here? Oh, whoa, 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 what is that? That looks weird. That looks amazing It's a fighter. Look at those wings They look so sick it looks like a, like one of those spike balls, you know? Like a cult rope, is that the word I'm looking for? Oh, data silo, nice, thank you. Let's sell these here. Yeah, sell it for 473, 305. So we nearly, we, we get a third back of the, and we want a multi-tool upgrade here. Go. Oh, a solar B class, nice.
Yeah, it worse to be honest. <laughs> See where our ship is. There. Okay, if this is this the dissonant planet, because then we're gonna get the um Yeah it is. Okay, so we're going to call the anomaly. get the other exosuit slot and then we're gonna go and get the ship and if it's a duplicate of any of the ships we already have we're just gonna sell it well we sell the worse version and um, that gives us then another 20 million 30 million or so I know there's easier ways of making money but it's always nice to do something random like that and get like a nice little pop-up of uh, Top up of 20, 30 million. Um, do you know if they do a new season? Um, what do they call them? A new expedition? Because I wouldn't mind uh, playing the, the next expedition and then delete the character. You know, it doesn't really matter because we can't use the same character, I think, to play the expedition. So you create an expedition character, play the expedition, complete it, get all the rewards unlocked and then you can delete the character because you get all the re uh, rewards accessible by all the other characters as well. Wish I had a better accent like Pix. I live in Hereford, UK. So it sounds like a farmer. Do you, not, do you not have that sexy UK accent like Liz Hurley? No? Where no matter what Liz Hurley says, it sounds like I'm gonna take you home and take your clothes off. That's literally what she says every time she speaks. I'm such an asshole. Yes, um, it's that type of accent, you know, that, that British accent is so sexy. I ain't posh. <laughs> it's like she, she could be mad at me and totally shout at me and go like, you bastard, you're the worst disgusting human being I've ever met. And all I hear is like, oh, you're so hot. It's like, yeah, yeah you tell me. Oh yeah, she's a very good looking woman. Okay, oh wow, whoa, 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 okay, so let's see what we found here. This is another insane looking planet. Um, okay, I think this is where we land near the ship, so let's see if we can actually find the ship. There we go. Oh my god, that looks badass, unless we already have it in a... Let me see. Let me see. Ooh, I think we already have this one. But still, absolute badass. Okay, so let me just double check quickly. So, this is the last one. Flameborn and Shard. This is the last one we got. So it's not, it's not, is it that? Is it this one? No, this is the one with the wings up. Okay. And then we have this one here. Um, Flameborn. So the best way is to go into a ship. Oh, I think it's the one on the left here. Yeah, I think that's the one. So this one here, that's the way this looks. And we should probably rename it to just shard. Um, and this is an A-class actually. 
And I think this ship, if I look at it from the front, it has the big four cannons in the front. Is this one potentially? You see? Or is it another new design? I think I think it could be this one. I'm not sure. No, it's a different one altogether again. Oh my god, we're gonna run out of space just with sentinel ships. They really have to give us some way of saving all the ships. That is just so not fair. I don't want to get rid of any of my ships. So this is a completely different one again. Okay. We actually have all this. Hang on a second. Um, it's just in here. Okay, we need a harmonic brain, and I have several of those non harmonic brains. So this game, what is this game about? It's, it's basically, it's about finding about yourself, okay? It's it's finding out about yourself as, as, as the human being that you are and why you exist the way you do. Because the game starts basically, like imagine like the similarities of survival games where you wake up, you don't really know how you got here. You just know, you, you, you just know things seem familiar, but not familiar. You have no idea what really is going on. You, you in the very opening planet you get to know the, the the functions of the game and you find a ship that seems to be your ship somehow but you don't know why yeah but it feels familiar and and you go off on this journey of self-discovery really where you find out what what way what you are like you know and how you came to be and, and all that and that's the basic overarching story and then there along the way if you just follow the story missions you get to find out about the sentinels the atlas the um you know all these different beings you know and and they start talking weirdly to you all the time about being a traveler and being an iteration you know iterations of things and and it just sounds all very strange but eventually it will make sense yeah so there's certain aspects part of the story like when you find out about um, what's his face again i keep forgetting his name artemis yeah so when you do the mission about artemis uh, to help him which is a guy that very straight up in the beginning of the game so it's not really a spoiler you you come across this character artemis who needs your help yeah and you find out about him and how, what the story is with that and and you slowly explore more and more what's going on and eventually it leads to whatever the climax of the game or whatever it is you know where you find out what's actually happening you know i never finished it but um uh, so if you just ignore all the side stuff you know you can focus on the main stuff that's fine as well the main stuff slowly unlocks things and unlocks sub quests here that you can do to unlock like base building you know settlement building all the dlcs that were for free added over time all start with side quests that you that you discover through playing the game and slowly you get exposed to them and you can get sidetracked with all that or you can just ignore all that and focus on the main story and the main story will just you know keep giving you things to do until you get to the point where the game is finished like, you know i guess so Yeah, and the languages, uh, the fragments of the language you learn as you go, like there's stones where you learn the languages, you you also unlock more cliffs, which are basically for stargates, there's 16 cliffs or something, and you slowly unlock them as well as you play. Yeah, that, that is a new ship design again. And it's a massive ship, that better be an S-Class. Um, where is our marker here for the, for the other ship, hang on. Where has it disappeared to? Oh yeah, I clicked on things. Um, there we go. Hey. Oh, they're behind us, sorry. That looks weird. 
What is... Oh, that's a trading station. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. So, I, I suppose in a, in a, in a way to, sim to oversimplify the whole game, in a sentence, it's, it's, it is a game and it's not exaggerated. It's a journey about self-discovery. That's generally what it is. So you never really have to finish the game. Yeah, you can forever just do things, build settlements, uh, build a fleet of ships and uh, get your own frigate, your own freighter with your own frigates, you know, and discover more about the universe. And there's an endless amount of things you can do. You can build big, massive bases with uh, resource generation, with big mining machines, you know, so you can just completely play different parts of the game to your heart content. So this is why this game can be so overwhelming in a way, because you don't know what you really need to do, but whenever you get lost, just focus on the main mission, you know? And whenever you feel like to get lost in one of the side things, just pick one of the side missions and start following that and see what's going on, you know? So this now turned this into a harmonic brain, which we need to fix the ship. And there's some language stones here as well. It's usually two or three here. There we go. So this is a Viking system. So all these stones that you find here on the planet, they teach you Viking words. Yeah, you can also look at, exactly, you can also look at public bases that people build that they made publicly available where you can travel to. And some even build resource bases, you know, they make publicly available where uh, you can literally just go and visit and empty their inventory and, uh, you know, and take like, say, 10,000 uh, copper or whatever, you know, whatever it is. So... So let's see what type of ship. It is a C-Class, so it's not a good ship, but it's a free ship nonetheless. Um, it's a massive... Poof. Um, let me just put some... Oh yeah, we have to compare it first, and then we have to... So it's 25.9 million, um, and because it's unique, I'm not gonna sell it. Let me just see. Yeah, so it looks it looks different. So it's it's not the same as the other ones. Uh, let me fill it up. Oh, I need some. I need a radiant shard for that. Um, oh no, this is the warp cell. So that's fine. Actually, I can take off with it. So let's see what that looks like. Okay, so let's have a look. Let's put the light about here, I would say. Ugh, the clouds don't really give us a lot of light. Nah, actually, they do a little bit. Okay. Nice. And does it have not a red line going across its face? This one doesn't have a red line. Interesting. Yeah, usually some of the ships have a red line. Interesting. What does it look like inside? Pretty similar to the other ones.
yeah, all the different chips and not selling this one. Because it's a different design again. I'm old and stuck in my ways, yeah. I was always stuck in my ways. <laughs> so let's see. Um, it's called Recovered. Okay, there you go. Oh, it has the red light. Nice. Uh, let me... So it does have the red light. Awesome. Can we get a bit of light in here? No? Yeah, this one it looks it looks nice. It doesn't look it's not the best looking out of the ones I have. Out of all the ones I have, I would say Let me see. I think this one is the best looking one. The Flameborn, I think. Yeah, that one looks you could Actually, no, the other one, I think. Let me see. Shard. Yeah, that one. That one looks badass. It looks like one of those uh, Transformers because when it takes off, the arms come out. You know, it looks really amazing. And I love how they all have that red line going around uh, their front. It's, it looks like Knight Rider, you know? It looks absolutely amazing. Um, but yeah, let's go back into our ship. So this is just the first one I picked up and I upgraded the most already. So the uh, this one that's why I keep uh, using this one all the time so let's continue mission target is in it so now we need to leap again so want to be on the current not the current mission but the Atlas station. There we go. So let's head over to the next Atlas station. Oh shit, that is quite a distance. Okay, so... Wow, water system. So let me see, we have the connection point here. So let's go to this system first because oh this is a red system. Does that mean we can find Does that mean we can find What is it called? Emerald iridium iridium in it? Is that an iridium system? That would be really interesting because we we, we need to mine some iridium so we can um It only has two planets this system. So this one, a cadmium, that's what I was looking for. Cadmium, yes. So cadmium and the second planet is Is there a space station here? Oh, it doesn't seem to have a space station. So. This one has activated cadmium. So we're looking for... Oh, activated cadmium. Can we do anything with activated cadmium? Green system is emerald, blue system is ir iridium. And so because I already have the cadmium drive, so I already built that. And that's what we needed. Um, so what I need now is I have the cadmium drive and I have the iridium drive. Oh, I already have all the drives, do I? Hang on. Cadmium, iridium. Oh, and now I need the... Sorry. I don't have the iridium drive. I need emerald. So I need to go to a green system to get the emerald for this. That is right. That's what I actually still have to do. So if we can find a green system along the way, that would be great. But is there no space station here in the system? That's crazy. That's so scary. 
Can we at least uh, get a free exos to upgrade from? Yes, okay. That is crazy. There's no space station here. So you can't convert activated into normal, but you can convert normal into activated, okay. And yeah, the storyline eventually requires it, yeah, that's right. So in the black holes in this game, uh, Roy, tell me again, the black holes in this game, they just sent you to somewhere completely random in the universe. Uh, is that right? Ooh, we actually got a special slot unlock here. I didn't even see that earlier. That is sexy time. So we could actually put um, um, one of those in there, 93 life support. Yes, absolutely, let's put that in there, and then go around this like that, oh yes, look at that baby, nice. So, what type of gun is that? It's a C-class here, it doesn't matter. Yeah, but in most cases, much closer to the galaxy center. Oh, okay. Because obviously, I think the, in the end, the main quest will be to get to the center of the galaxy, I guess. Do you have to do all these quests? Could I not just go straight to the center of the galaxy? Like, once I have all the drives and have the fuel and enough fuel for all the warp and stuff, um, do I, can I not just go straight, black hole, black hole, black hole, and then boom, 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 center of the galaxy, and is that the end of the game then? Or do I need to actually complete all the quests, the story quests? Oh, there's a trick as always. Yeah, I guess. I, uh, no, but without glitches or the hacks, you know, I'm just saying. I would assume if you normally try to get to the center, but you haven't completed all the story stuff, it, nothing really happens, I would assume. Um, it's not as complicated as it sounds, uh, uh, Batman spelled. <laughs> Batman spelled. It's not as complicated as it sounds. Because you have, literally, the game is very good in telling you what you need to do. So, if you, well, you have the freedom, but say you want to say, uh, start, let's go into this. Distress signal coordinates have been entered. The moment you leave, you basically will um, go to your galaxy map once you unlock it. And it will literally show you then, you know, where you have to go for that quest, you know. So you, you see here on the top, you have um, your current mission marker. So it shows you then, oh, okay, if I want to do the current mission, this is the line, so I have to go here. All the icons, don't worry too much about them. They're just the icons of all the other side missions as well. So if you go right here to this planet, you see one of the icons is the yellow icon, which is for the distress signal thing. So you can just start following that. Once you get into the system, it shows you which planet it's on. You just go there and then the game kind of just shows you what the next steps are, you know? So it's it's not that difficult really, to be honest, uh, once you get started. And the, and the game does do a good job of actually trying to teach you everything. Uh, let's continue with this. So let's see if we can find a green system along the way. But yeah, like anything else, I, if, if you play the game for the very first time, I wouldn't even be surprised if you literally just immediately suffocate on the first planet that you, that you spawn in and die. Because the game puts you straight away into a scenario where you don't know how you got here, but you don't have unlimited air, you don't have any resources, so it shows you straight away, hey, your, your, your multi-tool is broken or something, you know? Try to fix it, try to find some ferrite, you know, and you look around and you try to see what you can do and, and then you get the resources slowly and then it says, now use those resources to repair your 
multi-tool and so it does show you all the steps but yeah you will have to have some kind of you know way to figure out how to do some of that stuff and um it, it is very intuitive though data unavailable so oh what are these these are the black holes isn't it these whirly whirly things i think is it power no power generation Ooh, okay anyway um i'm here let's see is there is there a green planet i can go to close by this one is peaceful and it's green so i should find emerald emerald in there i guess that's what i'm asking that's what i'm looking for yeah this one here is green sorry i pressed the wrong button Oh yeah, we, we're gonna do all that with the collectors in, in, in a completely separate stream because I want to get enough resources to build multiple collectors and then we're gonna do all that and set up all the bases and everything. Oh shit. Okay, let's go. Let's go guys. Can I get a new free freighter now? I have to be careful here. I don't want to shoot the freighter. Steal his shield uh, and uh, fix my shield. There we go. So now we have a chance of buying that freighter, I think. So the first one we get for free. He looks like a teenager. Yes, if you squint, exactly. Oh! I keep accidentally clicking my mouse. That's not good. So now we get a reward offered by the captain, but if this is an S-Class freighter, I'm buying it if I have the money. It's 
it's a B-class freighter, which is better than ours. So we could theoretically trade it in. Now, remind me again, if I trade freighters, it literally moves all the stuff I built into this freighter. So if I move through the corridors, it will look exactly the same as on my old freighter, I think. Because I think once you get into the corridors for building, everything looks kind of the same. So if we look over here, it, it, it looks a little bit different here, obviously, with the setup. But the area we can build in is identical. So, ooh, what is this? You, you got all juicy stuff here but um, if you're looking at a high grade freighter make sure you look for them at a three star system yeah but I mean this is an upgrade to my current freighter system so if I trade it I'm assuming that once it's traded and I go here I have my old setup again so I don't have to rebuild everything again okay let's see small creature chatters excitedly and hops on from one foot to the other. Oh yeah, but I mean, I, there's nothing, there's no harm in having some fun, you know, and um, I mean, how much does it cost? This one is 71 mil. Look at this badass. Um, um, I take that. So if I compare this now, yeah, the trade-in price is... Oh shit, mine is only worth 2.2 .2 million. Are you kidding me? Oh, no way. How is my how is a freighter worth only 2.2 .2 million? That is that just sucks donkey balls. I'm not going to waste my if I would have a couple of 100 million, I would so buy this without without even thinking about it. But because look at all the extra slots that I don't have. But that's just depressing. Oh yeah, the Dreadnought is something that I'm still trying to get. Um, it's The Dreadnought scenario is so exciting, I love it. Every time you get into space and there's like a pirate uh, freighter fighting with civilians. I, it's so amazing just to go in, kill all the shields, try to do exactly what you have to do, but it's so hard to remember all the steps because you have to kill the shields, then you have to destroy, well, destroy the bubbles, the shield uh, uh, um, charges come out, you destroy them, then you shoot down the engines, or if the if they actually already destroyed nearly the civilian ship, you uh, destroy the cannons, then you have to destroy the engines so they can't get away. It's so confusing, there's so much to do. And eventually you're gonna get it right, and then you're gonna get your reward. But until then, it's gonna be a non-stop exciting fight. So what do you give me for payment? Oh, nice! Actually, I get a... I get a cargo bulkhead as a reward. That is so cool. That is actually pretty amazing. And I was standing and I got some nanites. So I can still talk to him though and <laughs> he's so cute. Okay. All targets to destroy are highlighted like enemy ships, not as complicated. Oh yeah, it, it, in the beginning it's all confusing because I don't see anything highlighted. I just enjoy myself flying around the badass ship and trying to kill everything. Check the planet now for Emerald. Oh, okay. What about the other planets? Oh, 
it's a green system. Would there not be emerald? If you play as a space pirate, yeah, you, the sentinels continuously keep showing up. I mean, oh, that looks beautiful. Oh, I love the way this looks. I love the colors. The purple and red looks so badass. More cargo bulk heads. Um, oh, there's an extra million nearly. And this is 50% discount. There's an extra million again. Yeah, I'm gonna take that though for me. So this one goes into my ship. My ship. And these two we sell. Actually, I'm gonna sell this one as well. Oof, it's a big boy. It's only a C one though. Is that the same one? Yeah. Okay, we, we didn't get double exactly, but we still got a very big payday. Yeah, that was good. So nearly two million just for free, just for buying and selling. Oh, the colors look really... Look at those wings. Holy shit. Trying to compensate for something. <laughs> Oh, it's a very beautiful game, yeah. So, uh, let me see for a second, yeah? So how do I... Um, can I not see what um, resources I have in the system? There's fungal mold. So this system doesn't is a green system, but it doesn't have any emerald. So how can I not see that on the map here already? So if I go filters... Um, economy. No, not economy. Conflict. Mm, okay. So if we go with no filter. Oh, it's actually yellow. Oh, it was green because I had a filter on or something. Oh, that sucks. I wanted a, cre a green planet. Can I not see the type of resources they have on the before I land there? Oh, God damn it! So this is a blue iridium drive required, so I can't get there. Yeah, that's a green system. That's a green system. Emerald drive required. So I need something where it says cadmium drive required. So I'm so confused. Um No, 
No filter. Emerald Drive. Actually, you know what? I think that will help me. If I go to here, where I still have that quest for the building, install Indium Drive. There we go. Emerald is mined from large deposit using terrain manipulators. Find emerald deposits with the analysis uh, visor. Purchasing wiring loom for space station trade. Yeah, yeah, four, five, complete installation. So will that not show me now my current quest? Oh, it doesn't show me my current mission. Your deck. So it has to be the red system. So the red planet is uh, where I can find... No, that's where I find cadmium. I'm so confused. So... Which color planet do I find in? In a green star system but why does it say why does it tell me then if I want to go to green star system I need a drive that I don't have like this is green yeah but it says I need an emerald drive so if I need emerald how the hell am I supposed to get emerald if I need an emerald drive to get there it's oh hang on hang on emerald drive the emerald drive is I thought I already had that. Yeah, the Emerald Drive. I have the Emerald Drive. Ah, oh, I don't. Genie Mac. I put them in a placeholder. I'm such an idiot. Ugh, I need cadmium. Yeah, there we go. I need cadmium. So never mind. I'm an absolute idiot. I thought I already built it. So I was trying to be good and preload all these slots. And then I was being an absolute moron and forgot about it. So there you go. That's that. So, yeah, no, I thought I already had the Emerald Drive built. That's why I was so confused. But at least um, now I can go to a Red Star system and uh, mine cadmium. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. No Man's Sky confusing. No, I confused myself. You see, if I wouldn't have placed this one there, I wouldn't have been confused because I went like this. No, I have the Emerald Drive. Yeah, sure. It's like, no, I don't have the Emerald Drive. <laughs> hey, Kona, how are you? Good afternoon. And to you as well. Thank you for the super chat. Uh, how is No Man's Sky going? Also, how are you? I'm absolutely fine. Thank you very much. And No Man's Sky, I just confused the hell out of me. I was the whole time wondering why I cannot travel to a green planet because I have an emerald drive and I did not realize that I didn't build it yet, that I only put it in here, but I didn't actually physically build it yet. <laughs> so I was sitting there scratching my head, why can I not go there? We nearly have all our exosuit slots up on the top, which is great. So doing the typical thing that uh, probably happens to anybody in... Oh yeah, before I actually take off, let me buy the wiring looms. Because I need... How many wiring looms do I need? I need four for here and five for here. So we need nine. Yeah. Um, I have... How many right now? None. So we, we just buy nine. We just buy ten. Whatever. So let's go back to this. But once you were there, you can go back to the current system space station. Actually, we can go back to the red planet system. If 
if I would remember what it was called. Can you see the color of the planet in here? Shit. It was the previous system, wasn't it? I think so. No, it doesn't matter because it was only activated cadmium there. So yeah, let's let's just go to a different red planet. Um, I haven't seen a living ship, but somebody said, I don't know if it was you, that um, the, the item I unlocked here, the special thing, is where you find the living ship or something. I got a special upgrade. I think I got yeah, this one here. Is it? Cargo scan? No, no, no. Anyway, I got it. I, I, it might actually be an upgrade for the freighter, I think. Is it? Oh. I found a blueprint for something that when we build it, uh, they can find living ships or something like that. Um, I just don't remember where the upgrade was. It wouldn't have been. It, it, it was a starship upgrade. Temporal starship. No, that's a trail. It's weapons. Hmm. We unlocked the blueprint, so I'm not really sure where we're gonna have to build it in the end. Um, we'll see. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. Oh wow, you look like a car. Very sexy. Okay, um, by the way, I can only be here for about 30 minutes. I'm helping a friend learn how to play Fallout 4. Oh, that's exciting. Anybody who's new to Fallout 4 just for the first time playing it, I envy them for fucking like any of the games that I really enjoy. Like, I envy people that play for the first time. So there we go. No filter, free explore. Let's go. This red planet was stupid because it was... Um, let's take the red planet along the way. Let's go here. Because it had activated cadmium, but we need to find a cadmium uh, planet with cadmium so you can mine it. Do you get cadmium only from uh, the auto miners or can you manually mine cadmium, cadmium as well? This is beautiful. Cadmium, perfect. But it has aggressive sentinels, so let's see if we can get something better here. Cadmium, gold, cobalt in a moon, perfect. Sorry, I thought we only can only get it with the miners, so that's fine. Activate cadmium. So we're gonna go right here. Oh, first let's go to the. Now nah, we're gonna do the space station in a second. Let's do this first. It's Aerial antenna, yes, exactly. We got the aerial antenna uh, blueprint, but I can't find it. It's very strange. So let me see. This is. Let me just land here first. Oh yeah, look at this. This is amazing. These creatures are like actual... That is so crazy. They're creatures, but they're actually rocks or something. So, 
There's got the dream aerial is your blueprint, I think. Yeah, so I have to figure out where to build that because I, I can see on my freighter that I can't build it here. It doesn't exist. So I'm very Oh there, dream aerial. I can actually craft it in here as a thing. Okay. That we probably activate that. So carrying this antenna in deep space may attract attention of a cosmic megafauna. So that is really awesome. Look at this. This is crazy. So this is actually a great place where we could do some mining, I guess. Like auto mining, so if we look at our visor and go for target sweep, hot power survey mode, mineral survey mode. So we could go mineral survey mode here and see if we can actually do a. Here's a hot spot, a oh, gas survey. Okay. Okay. Let's get the terrain manipulator out and make sure we do it small. Where's the cadmium? I'm not getting any... Oh, there we go. I was just about to say, how am I not getting any cadmium? So this is a little bit of cadmium here. What we need to find is like a raw cadmium source. How much cadmium do we actually need? Let me just double check. We need... 250 so we have 130 already so we're definitely getting more than we can see on screen there which is great uh, it's silicate based life yes that's right yeah living class is really hard to craft well it takes a lot of resources to craft you're absolutely right but I might be able to buy it actually I think sometimes we see it in um, Pilots, I think. Um, my terrain manipulator is it optimized? Let me see. Um, I don't. Ha yeah, I haven't found a station yet which has mining, S tier mining stuff. So I have loads of nanites. So once we come across a station which has um, an S tier mining beam upgrade like this one, I, I obviously, I think I got this one in a, in one of those. Um, round robot things that I found on the planet. You know, these droid looking things. So I haven't actually come across a space station yet with uh, that because I don't think you can buy uh, those type of upgrades. We check. Maybe, maybe I just didn't check properly. Okay, let's see. How much do we have here? Um, Starship. Um, now we have 244. We're nearly there. So for anybody who hasn't played this game yet or is new to it, the reason I'm not going with the big boy destruction here is because you can take a lot more stone out, but you also get only about a third of the resources. Um, because you're destroying a lot more than you gather. So that's why if you have a small beam um, like this, then um, you... you basically get more of the resource before you destroy it. Okay, 
let's get back to the ship. Oh, shit, that's not what I wanted to. Is something gold? Right here? What? Is it right under me? What is that gold thing? Yeah, there has to be a cave below or something. So let me just double check here. Um, this is... So it was kind of around here. I actually lost all sense of direction again. Damn it. Oh, it was here where the glowing things were and... Yeah, that's so weird. I have no idea where it was now. Yeah, here we go. So strange. Let's have a look. It's right here somewhere. Why is this so weird? Yeah, see, now it's gone again. Oh, here, there's several now. What the hell is going on? It's not these balls, is it? Is it these balls? I can't pick them up though. Not them. I have no idea what this is.
is a cave. Ah! Is it these pearls? It is, yeah. Okay. Alright, so that's what that was. This looks amazing. Silver directly from the source and cobalt as well. Oh, there's more. So sometimes we can't pick them up. That's weird. Yeah, let's get back to our ship. Our ship is somewhere kind of here. Let's see, we got these guys, they're for trading. Do they do anything? No. So they actually weren't even worth that much money. That's even more depressing that actually all of them were pretty worthless. It's only 106,000. So we're gonna sell all of them. Twenty-five thousand. Um, Forty-six thousand. So definitely worth it. Yeah, these ones are very, very good for trading. Ooh. Okay. Both of these are worth a lot of money. These guys, they're not worth anything, but we get some sodium nitrate from them, which is great. Sodium, sodium nitrate. Yeah, this we can sell. Okay. We can sell these three things here. And this one. And this one. Okay, good. So now we have to get back to our ship. Oh, actually. Let's 
safe. No space station again here. Yeah, this place doesn't have a space station, so we have to go and get the exosuit from this. I found Charlie yet. I don't know what you mean by Charlie. Jesus. Okay. Your in-game pet. Oh. Yeah, I have a few pets, um, but I didn't make a collar yet, so... Um, actually, we, we have a few pets, actually. Hang on. No! I deleted it! I didn't want to delete it. I didn't want to delete it. I have to go get the extra suit again, but that's okay. That's a small price to pay. So let me see. Um here we go. The pet is gone. You you're literally just How is it feeling starving? Literally just fed it. Wow, that's a bug. Do you see that? It counted this already and now we're getting... Oh, that is amazing. <laughs> okay. We found... Uh, I, I couldn't do it on purpose, but we found another glitch. Nice. Okay, where's my... Where's my bug? Hello? to write it oh I can't write it here okay. it looks like a rhino beetle yeah I think it was from the settlement uh, expansion or something yeah, I don't really remember let's make sure we save So 
now what we're gonna do is we're going to Atlas mission. There we go. And along here, actually, yeah, let's go to the Atlas mission. Um, whoopsie, this one. And we're gonna go to the space station there by the looms, whatever, the wireframe looms. Let's pick up all the lights. Oh, there's multiple. I think it's every four, four lights, is it? Every five lights you pick up, there's a word, something like that, or is it just one? Okay, that, that would have been five, so let's see. Oh, okay, it's random. A lot of lights here, so we definitely want to pick them all up. Nice. We learned we learned three, four words here already. Nice. And another one. I only have about four minutes or less until I gotta get out of here. Thank you so much, Kona, uh, for all the super shots. You're amazing. Always thank you so much. And um, thank you very much for dropping in with Um, I, the There's actually another game I want to see if we can play through it again. I played through it a few times in my own time. Um, the Tomb Raider games. They are absolutely the new ones. They are fantastic. Um, well, they're not new. They're 2013 one. And the... Is there any more lights? I think so. 2013, 2016, and 2018, I think. So Tomb Raider, Rise of the Tomb Raider, and Shadow of the uh, Tomb Raider. They're amazing games. The fuck of reality and... Okay. The... You, I learned so many words and I still don't understand them. I was born with everything I need to explore these worlds. My exosuit, my ship, every tool, every impulse, let me just scan and give name to whatever I could find. But this, I can give no name to what I see. It was in the orb, I see worlds that never wear. I see the stirring of something primal and undeniable. I see the death cry of a god or something approaching it. It wants me to persist in this journey, seeking fragments of its interface. The stone of the atlas, it rejoices in my repetition of compli my compliance, my cloud of unknowing. Um, concede. Okay. I will commit myself to the voyage. In all things, I'm ready. I will not fall. Okay, now we need ionized cobalt, which actually is pretty easy to get by, to be honest. Um, just this and this. Yeah, I love those games, yeah. We need 
200, so I need another 24. Oof, we don't have enough. We're gonna buy some at the next station. And pure ferrite, yeah, we need that as well, okay. Oh, how much pure ferrite do we need? One more word. Nice. Oh, there's a few more lights now. Um, yeah, uh, my older daughter, she played the Tomb Raider 2013 game as well. She liked, she loved it. She played it on the console. The controller, so she found the shooting with the arrows. Yeah, the, the flying worms that look like dragons, yeah. On some of the planets, yeah, they're very hard. I think, I, th I don't know if you can capture them, they must be extremely hard to capture them. Let's get some more cobalt here. So now, Starship, Emerald Drive. And now we have the Emerald Drive. Uh, we can now go for the Emerald, for the Indium Drive, for some Emerald. Yeah, I think I have some Emerald actually in the freighter. But Oh, nice salvage frigate module. Love it. Um, okay, there's some money. There's more money. Nitrogen. Why not? Why not? Sell all the other stuff. Let's get the so. so let's see if we can Ooh. Oh nice. Kiss of supplication. That sounds pretty personal. Same one. Uh, is it a different class? It's a B class as well. Ship. So 
we're selling this all these okay also let me see if i can um a mining beam module an s-class one yes excellent okay um mining beam module So, this one is nine, so we have to get rid of this one. Oh, sorry, what is this? Hijack laser, high energy beam. That's not even, they're not even included in this. Okay, so we want to get rid of the B one, I guess. So, now we need two more S classes. So this one is 21 fuel efficiency, mining speed, mining speed. And then here we have a really what is the default mining speed of this one here um 17 this one is 19 so you see, yeah so this one is better there so we need two more of those oh whoa so let's get two more Uh, Jekyll and Hyde, how are you? Hey, kicks and shots. So weird seeing you with no beard. I'm not shaving mine yet. It hides my fat chins. No, it's same here. No, I, I, I had to shave, so um, it wasn't my choice. Uh. There we go. Let's get the next one. Go. So the one that's worse is um, oh, this one is an, a mining companion unit. So that's different. So this is the upgrade one that we have to get rid of. So we basically have these three S class upgrades now: mining speed 16, 19, and whatever. So we put this one there. And that is currently the maximum we can have. Is there another mining thing? Hang on a second. Plasma launcher. Hmm. The waveform recycler. What is that for? A powerful literal processor inserted into the multi-shell scanner system allows the device to be charged at a significant proof rate. Uh, we should probably actually put that in. Um, I think also we have the optical trail, which is resources mined plus eight. We need to. God damn it. I forgot about these completely. And then we have the standard mining beam extractor. I didn't even put this one in. Really? Is that not the mining beam extractor here? The multi tool is meant for high powered mining laser, yeah. Okay, hang on. Yeah, okay, whatever. I didn't even realize, I thought this was this. So, okay. Whatever. <laughs> whatever, I'm so confused. I actually like that we can get a row down here because that means I'm going to be able to use this slot to have four sides and that means when we get the scanner modules here the the we need S class scanner modules actually do you have scanner modules let me see pulse splitter scatter geology kind of plasma pulse scatter scanner plasma. Um, ugh, you only have C-class scanner modules, you suck. Oh, and what about this? Scatter plaster, scatter plaster, scatter plaster. So, hang on a second. You have an S-class scatter plaster upgrade as well. I, I, there's so many things I haven't upgraded. Holy shit. So 
So this is an A-class one. This is the actual scatter plaster. So this should probably be in the center then. And this one is scatter plaster upgrade. Scatter. So it looks like these these two I can replace with this, I think. Unless this is part of what we've built here. Uh, okay. Yeah, let's go and buy a few more. Um, how's the new update? Well, the game is still the same game. Uh, the custom shipbuilding, we don't really do a lot with that right now. We did a custom ship in the beginning, but uh, we have to get to the point where we have so much money that we can just keep buying, destroying ships to build our perfect fighter or something. Yeah. Um, in the moment, I've been collecting all the Sentinel ships I could find, and I have about five different ones at this stage, I think. Um, but no S-Class yet. So... And um, now we're going to go and after we upgraded that, we're going to go and get the emerald from a green planet because we have the cadmium drive and the emerald drive now. So we need now the iridium drive, which means we need emerald to build that. So we can go to the green planet now. Oh, actually, also every time I reload, I should be actually going past this guy to get a free upgrade. Oh, man, I might as well buy all that stuff out every time because we're going to sell it now. Product received. Product received. Product received. Is that always going to be B class or does the class on that change on reload? It's always B class. The Red Dwarf. Moya would be my ultimate ship. If I could get something like the Moya. The, um, it's kind of blast. Oh shit, hang on. Um. So now we get rid of that. Go. Okay, we have these guys here. Excellent. And we should probably... Plus 2% damage, fire rate. So let me put them here for a second and see. Damage 2%, 2%, 2%, but we have shots per burst. Oh, shots per burst is actually a really good stat. stat. This one has shots per burst and clip size. Oh, this is a good one. So we're gonna put that here. Oh, it doesn't increase the damage, but it increased the clip size and the shots per burst. That is awesome. And then we're gonna move these three down here and we're gonna put this here, this here, this here, and this here. Excellent, so now we have this perfectly set up. And we're gonna put these three here. Nice. Let me see, that's two damage, 20 fire rate. Time, reload time. Yeah, okay, this one sh stays in the center. Good, I like it. So, this is a really good setup now. The Firefly would be rather awesome, yeah. 
Oh, she wasn't very big, uh, but she looked really awesome. Oh yeah, let's sell. Oh, Jesus. Let's sell all the other junk here quickly. And we want to make some uh, sell. Sorry. Um, yeah, selling all that. Selling all that. is we're going to take this out and oh very good and we have more cobalt here there we go and ionized we need 200 ionized excellent that is perfect so now we can hang on what do we what did we need that for again That's great. Now I forgot what we needed this for. Why did we need why did we need all that ionized cobalt? Yes, for these things. Jesus, I'm, my brain. Um, we need pure ferrite, which I can make now from this here. Ionized cobalt. Nice. Okay, good, good. Man, my brain. So now we can craft one more of this. No, the blue one, sorry. Yes. And now we have those two. And now we can craft the yellow one. And the yellow one. Okay. Okay, good. So what I'm doing now, anybody who's just joined, I'm trying to um, uh, get myself prepared for anything to do with the Atlas. And uh, somebody was saying, uh, I think Trasha was saying that I need two of everything. So we craft them and upgrade them as we go along. And uh, that required those resources. So I have two every time. And we're also trying to get our uh, drives built. So we just finished the Emerald Drive. So we can now go to a green planet and get the emerald to mine that and then we can uh, we have all the drives so then we have all our hyperdrive sourced out and we just spent some time upgrading all our scatter stuff so we're doing now potential damage 7564 i think that is the way to do it so if i do this put this there and put this here it's oh my balls shit that is 14000 damage how come the scatter plus their base is here so much more damage that is crazy okay 14,000 what happens if I put uh, this one in here that's only 5,000 6,000 yeah 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 that's not as much holy crap that is crazy the, why would this do more damage like what are the stats we can't even see them that is insane. So that makes me think that my mining uh, bonus might be higher if I put the default miner in here, to be honest. Or even this default miner, whatever that is. That is a carbon-based, multi-tools made, tampered main, high-powered mining laser, and this is a mining laser. So may we'll see if there's any difference swapping these around. That is crazy. So is that the same for the scanner? 
so I make more money if I put the base scanner in here. So from a range perspective, that's an, oh 500. From the range perspective, that's not the case. That is insane how that works with the scattered plaster. That is crazy. I did not. Oh shit. Oh, that was a sexy looking uh, uh, solar ship. Let's follow it. Oh, it's gone. And it's gone. Uh, we're just gonna get our exosuit upgrade and then we're gonna go to the next Atlas point. Yeah, I didn't think that that would make such a huge difference in damage. That doubled our damage. So the base percentage damage must be extremely high. Like, we, we are one-shotting now all the sentinels, that's for sure. This one is the... Now I'm nearly thinking our... This one should be there. But anyway, so now to make this... Now we can fly uh, to the next atlas, but if on the way we find a, re uh, a green planet, we can fly to it. Okay, atlas is here. It's a yellow planet. So let's see if there's a, there's a green one here along the way. Well, at least it looks green. And that means we can get the emerald now to find to build our final drive. Scary looking. There's Emerald right here on the planet. Let's get this first. Let's go to the bright side of the planet. I don't like being in the dark side.
Whoa! Look at that! Broken freighter. Yeah, I'm not gonna do this right now. Holy balls, what the hell? That is just uh, resources in the freighter. We don't actually ever get any get a, anything freighter related from it. Like so, they just you know stand on resources. What is all that? So these things in Everest give us 19,000. So what happens now if I move the scanner from hang on, my visor? That's the multi-tool, isn't it? Yeah. So from here, I'm going to say no. Let's put the default tool in there, and then we're going to do this. And let's see if there's anything else I have to scan. No, it's 16,000. Six, yeah, that's less. So. Yeah, so this is better. Okay. Anyway, gold. Gold. Oh, a building. See what that is, but we need to find an emerald mining spot. Ooh, nice. Okay, finding emerald is gonna be harder than I thought. Salt. Emerald! Yes! Ooh, nice! There's money here. I destroyed it with my mining laser for Pete's sake, I'm an idiot. This says 35 emerald. How much did we actually get? Oh, it's actually accurate. So this is the mining, which is in the multi-tool, all of these. So let me see if I take this and put this in there and put this in there. This doesn't make any sense. No. Uh, 
if I um, take this out and put the biggest one in the middle, 21 fuel, mining speed, mining speed, all the way down to fuel efficiency, fuel efficiency, mining speed, down time 17, what's the mining speed 19, Let's put that in there, and put that in there. So this is much faster, yeah. Okay, just give me one second. we have excellent we have enough so now we can upgrade in our starship uh, everything yes right what are these things That's salt, nice. Nice, we'll get some salt. Excellent. Okay, let's go. Let's get our ship here. This planet is odd looking. Here we go. And now we got the iridium drive. Nice. And that's all the drives I think that we had. We don't really use rockets. Rain, close range. So now there's nothing left anymore we have to do here. So we already have those three upgrades, which is fine. Um, yeah, that's it. There's nothing else really. Oh, sorry. We have the... Oh, we can do that actually. The Starship Shield upgrade. So that's another thing we can do. That's great. Um,
anything else that we can build here. Um, cargo scan deflector. We don't have counterfeit circuits or so anymore, so that we can't. Um, oof, we still could theoretically build the launch auto charger and there is an emergency warp unit. We can still build that, which we can put to here. And what is that? That's the, oh, that's this. Yeah, so we still have some things that we actually can build. Okay, we just need microprocessors for this. And then here we can build this. Is it gone? This one. Technology installed. And we need three microprocessors. I think we can build them. We should be able to. What the fuck am I not? Oh, carbon nanotubes. Cool. Start drive scramble, instant hyperdrive. Fast scramble system means the user is unable to plot a destination. Uncalculated light speed events will damage the unit and require frequent repairs. Oh, a significant upgrade to the hyperdrive that allows an instantaneous warp. Even while conventional systems are blocked by Starship combat, access to the emergency system. Okay. Okay, that station looks weird. It's called a Spuck Station. Are we in a pirate system? What the hell is this? What? That is like an abandoned station. That is so crazy. Hang on a second. Um. What is going on? Have you seen that before? That is crazy. Is that a bug or is that um, intentional? Have you seen that before? Oh shit, it's like a... What? It's like an infected station? That is crazy. Hey, Steven, how are you? Man, what do we need for pass three? Oh, 
Oh, we need more emerald. God damn it. Well, yeah, now I need to know what's in here. I need to know what's in here. I'm sorry. I need to know what's in here, so we need to go get emerald. We need to go get emerald. That is insane. It's either salt or emerald. Now I can test if I can access Atlas Pass 1, yes. So we don't have Atlas Pass 1 on us, but because we have 2, we can access 1, So which means I don't have to hold on to level 3, uh, to level 2 either. Nice, it's one of those, but we don't need them. We have enough nanites. We don't need them right now. Let's go in there anyway. We 
research specimen. Oh, that just increases standing. Okay. Two seven three eight seven three eight two um, three eight two seven eight two seven three. Oh shit! Okay. Oh, that's just the signal thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's a rune. I'm not. Ah, uh, no, I'm not really interested in that. Anything like that? Right back up to the station. And now we can open the door, so let's see what's behind door level three. This looks like a complete destroyed uh, station. That looks insane. And now we have the level 3 card so we can open this door. Oh, what is that? Breach, Baptos die. Oh! What? Oh. I have, I have a remembrance. I have it. I have it right here. Oh no, it's, oh, that's not it. Oh shit. What is it? I thought it was that. What the hell is a remembrance? Okay, this is getting more curious and curious by the second. I, I need to check if a remembrance is something I can craft from a recipe in the anomaly. That is just insane. What is all this? What's happening here? So this look, looks like, obviously, it was infected. I didn't even see the portal when I came in here. So we do have a portal. Okay, that's good. So we can portal directly into the station now from the anomaly. So if a remembrance is something we can unlock for crafting. And it's also now a station I can always go to. So that is brilliant.
Okay, there's something really unique about this. I don't think we can craft it. So, it's, it's sorry, it can be crafted, but I think the things you need to craft it, I don't think we can craft them. There's specifically one item we need, which I don't think we can craft. Okay, this looks really nice. It's a C class. Um, so okay so it's not anything here I thought it was one of those things a uh, living class actually I'm not sure it is. and it needs loop print it's loop print already something we have unlocked So where do you get the recipe from? We need to continue doing the Atlas path and eventually that unlocks. But one of the ingredients for it is something called the Heart of the Stars. It's what's it called? Heart of the Sun. And the Heart of the Sun is. Jesus, the resources for that. Modified Quanta? What the hell is all this? That is. Wow. So I think we're just going to have to follow the Atlas quest line to unlock all that. I think so. That is so crazy. Uh, definitely, I want to remember the name of the space station. So that we can event the, uh, at some point travel back here. station conflict data that is crazy um, okay if we haven't uploaded that and I discovered it I can rename that system I look at the logs in the discovery here. Yeah, exactly. We can rename this system, I think. spelled it wrong doesn't matter so this is the current system so if I go back here now it's misspelled but that's okay um, oh why does it not rename that oh that's just stupid it should rename everything about that so wherever that name was for the system it should put that in as the prefix that's just silly. There's no point renaming that if I still have to remember that weird name of that station. Anyway, 
doesn't matter. That's just all nonsense. Yeah, the system is called now, uh, it's an abandoned Corvax system. Holy crap. That is definitely something I want to go back to and see what we have to do for that. Economy advanced materials. Oh, that's great. We can buy some nice. Stuff. Now we're gonna get another recipe, I guess. So I wonder what the next level of recipe is. Oh, this eye looks fractured. That doesn't look normal. Hmm. That eye looks pissed, but there's loads of lights on the floor, which, means, which is great. Pity you can't tell which light will give you a word. It's kind of random, unless there is a visual cue which I'm not seeing. We get three, four words every time, that's good. I think that's it. this time nothing nothing cannot be this is who you are 
I feel the stirring of heresy was in my mind. At each interface, an atlas stone awaits me. I'm driven to gather them, but to what end? What does the omnipotent require my prayer? Why do it require my prayer? What is wrong with the heart of existence that its creator requires the pilgrimage, this da dance of grinding stone? I answer the question. I will not turn away from the challenge. The atlas guides me in advance. Now we get dark matter. dark matter um, it's only five okay that is very cheap um, okay. Can we reach this big thing? I want to try this. Okay, let's do it. Let's do a save. We have a restore point. I need to see if we can get across there somehow. Unless the wall prevents us. Oh, the light. Oh, all the lights resurfaced. Oh, but we can't collect them again. Okay, so let's see if we can get across there. Can't. Oh, that sucks. Jeff, how are you? Um, there is no zombies in the, in space. Not in this game. Sadly not. Um... Technology recharge. Beard. Yes, it is indeed, yeah. So is that it now for the uh, for the Atlas Path so far? No, there's more. So while yeah, so it, we basically going from Atlas Path to Atlas Path, get a new crafting recipe. But yeah, to what end? What is also this is a rare item kind of thing so let's see what we have here um optical self-repairing iridium okay nanotubes definitely get the cobalt here hmm, interesting dioxide oh magnetized ferret yes I said ferret. It's not ferret. You're not ferret. Voltage driver, seat glass. Herald of Silence, D class. Let's get this. They have a scanner module, an S-class scanner module. Nice. Scanner module, 
Yes. So now I can get rid of that. And now I can just do a quick reload. And then get the second one, and that's me done with the scanners. Well, with the custom upgrades. We still have some things that we craft from the, uh, the, the base modules. So that means we get maximum money now, pretty much, from the scans. Before we do that, we get another upgrade tool over here. And that means we have two more slots that we can upgrade in our multi tool. We also get this brain, we also get this. And we also get this because we're going to sell it. Let me get this because we're going to sell it. I should have done that earlier as well. So we now have 6,000, 6,000, uh, 6,000, 7, 8, 7, and this one is... Oh, this one only has two, flora and mineral. Meanwhile, this one has flora, fauna and mineral. Yeah, we're gonna have to buy a third one. Yeah, sorry, we're gonna have to buy a third one. Oh, this one only has two as well. That is crazy. So this one gave us three, this one gave us three, and this one gave us two, and this one is two. Oh, we, we, yeah, we're gonna have to keep buying until we get another three one. That is crazy. Because how come we got twice? We got, we got triple, triple, and now we just got double and double. That is so disappointing. I want another triple. Because that means we get maximum money. And then we just over time replace the triples with better triples. But yeah, anyway. Yes! Aha! Okay, so we get rid of this one. We get rid of this one. And now, which one is the better one? So we have... 7... 7, 3, 8, 2, 7, 9, 6, 6, 6, 8, 7, 6. So this one seems to be average 
highest. So we're gonna put this one in the middle and put these ones over there. So... Sixty-three percent scan radius. Yeah. So this is this is gonna be the highest. Nine thousand, ten thousand, to nine thousand six hundred. Yeah. Very good. And the ten thousand is on fauna, which is animal, which is animals. So it would maybe flora eight thousand is better because there's always more, well minerals actually would be best because minerals no animals are worse the most so fauna is best. Yeah. Okay. That's good. I like it. We got this upgrade done. So now let's just go over here, buy one more tool. And then we apply all the multi-tool upgrades to our multi-tool. Do I need any bullets? Ah, we still have loads. I did that is because if I have any, um, I think I have some scanning upgrades which I haven't actually applied yet. Um, so if we go to a multi tool, I think, let me see, yeah, this one here a multi tool upgrade, recharge time, scan radius. Um, we can do that actually, and that means we now have a four touch a four touch which is the strongest i guess and there's nothing else here for scanning there's an optical trail piece solar mirrors and quantum computers solar mirrors and quantum computers solar mirrors and quantum computers and we might actually be able to get it from either down here and or from the pilots. That looks amazing. have the same so they, sometimes they have different ones I'll try one more yeah there oh there's something different yeah solar mirrors nice I don't know how many did we need but quantum computers um, Three and three quantum computers. I think I can craft them as well. We need three microprocessors, three antimatter, three microprocessors, three antimatter. Let me see antimatter. And microprocessors I can buy here. I can craft them, but I can buy them.
nice resources mined 50 percent it said plus 88 percent but okay and um, so now what we could do is we could put this here and that gives us plus 88 percent okay so maximum plus 88 percent which means sure we sacrifice a little bit of mining speed or whatever but that is what we want in the supercharged slot okay good Yeah, that worked out pretty nice there. Um, yeah. So we're gonna do one more atlas. Oh, first we have to go to... Oh shit, did I forget to get the... To get the exosuit? Check in a second. I don't I think I did get the exercise. Gonna quickly double check because we can immediately go over to the space station again before we leave. We did good. Safe point, and let's go. The next Atlas station. That's a big, giant red planet, and we can go there now. See, it's funny, last time I played it, I ignored pretty much most of the Atlas path, I think. I... Oh, that looks new. Oh. I love the way they're always different, kind of. Oh, there's three people floating. What? Uh, last time we kind of focused on Artemis and all that stuff and settlement building. And I was like, yeah, whatever. But I'm really interested in this. I want to see where this ends. Um, okay, eyes... Like there's more and more and more lights. That is wow. This is creepy looking. Okay, another word.
much. Oh, the two more words. That's even better. Okay, I think everything is done. Oh, Hidden Truth, how are you? <laughs> it's going crazy with the... Look at this. What is this? Oh, bring it to us while there is still time. So I'm assuming Athia means still. When I dream, I see the Atlas. When I see the Atlas, I'm the dream. I see sentinels swarm through universes like an infection emerging from a world of glass. Everything is happy there. Everything will live. I see the portals. I see the travelers that walk between them. I see the span of history. I see everything as the Atlas sees it. Alone, abandoned, terrified. But what power could instill fear in the heart of the Almighty? It asks for something. It wants to know that I understand. I have become the Harbinger. Is it Harbinger or Harbinger? And the Pathfinder, the Seeker of Ways. Through me, the universe will know its Oh my god. Okay. Let's craft these. And ba boop. Ba boop. I'm fine, thank you. We found an amazing um, abandoned station which looked infected, space station, and we need some really weird materials to unlock some uh, thing. I don't know, it's like a station inside that we need to unlock. It's really weird. Um, yeah, let's go to the space station here. We also found loads of upgrades in the space stations, which means our power tool is now fully mopped out and a lot of things are now fully upgraded. multi-tool now is or oh, this here actually we have this fully upgraded now all our uh, traveling um, we still could do with more um, life support upgrades uh, but here we have all the scanning upgraded now to um, should that should get us loads of money and we have the scatter gun fully upgraded as well and the mining uh, tools, everything is fully upgraded now, which is great. Oh, the ships come in here. Uh, just shut. Oh, and yes, we found a new guild. That is nice. So now we're gonna have to. Ooh, holy crap. What do they want? Storm crystals? Yeah, we can. We can get loads of storm crystals. And stuff. So. These guys are the Explorers Guild. So we have the Merchant Guild, the Mercenary Guild, and now the Explorers Guild. And. Yeah, I have actually. Oh, I think I deleted the key. I'm not sure. No, I have some keys. So. 
Yeah, I'm gonna do all that uh, here. Life support modules, salvage frigate modules, nice. But we already have a location for it. So there's actually nothing here we desperately need. So, um, yeah, I will just start collecting keys and stuff like that, and then we just keep donating them. It's interesting. So the explorer skills. life support tanks so what do we have here 93 61 50 progressively getting weaker <laughs> I think we can only have three anyway um, this one was the one I crafted I think Let me see yeah that's the one we craft so that's fine is a paradise planet. God, I couldn't have parked any further away this time. Orbital bombardment? I You can do that? Really? Orbital bombardment? You mean with a freighter? Yeah, I haven't worked on my freighter at all because I've been chasing the Atlas path. You have no idea how, but like, why, uh, so, so why, why do you know it's in the game? So you know it's in the game, but you don't know how it's done. Um, oh, that's it. We can't. That is weird. These three slots we can't upgrade. That is just weird. Oh, there's... Sorry, hang on. There's a bug here. Oh, crap. Um, okay, how do I fix it? Let's see. Um, is there an autosave here? Okay, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> I thought it was a feature in the game that you could do that with your freighter or something and just eradicate like uh, all the sentinels on the on the map.
What is this? Why is this broken? Can I not upgrade anymore? Surely this looks... This is glitched because there's... Hang on. Where did it go? It, it did go there, so it was just a visual glitch. Because I was just about to say, it would be extremely weird if it would just stop upgrading with, without completing the role. That, that just... That would just be wrong. Would be a nice feature, though. Yeah, probably. Well, you can you can set up settlements and with defenses and all that. So when you get raided by the sentinels, um, you, you can defend your settlement, which can be a lot of fun. All right, I think I'm gonna leave this one here now, though. Um, because we have to go to the next Atlas um, map, which is going to be... Okay. Well, we still have fuel, so... <sighs> which is going to be here. Getting further and further and further and further away. There. Ah! We still can make it in one jump. Sucker. So let's get to the system. I'm gonna go into the space station though where we're gonna save. And then um gonna continue from there next time for, because I don't want to collect all the lights now and everything for the language but I also don't I also not not want to collect them Tropical planet, yeah, there you go. Paradise planet. Except it has sentinels coming out the ass. You don't play what do you play? What what is your poison? What is your 5,000 hour game? Or, just in general, the game you always go back to and uh, any new releases that tickle your fancy, what is the new releases you, you kind of always find interesting? and seven days to die but I rarely play these days yeah exosuit expansion unit oh my god we could just buy them here or get them for free here so yeah the explorers guild is gonna have to gonna have to upgrade everything
So this is, hang on, this is bulkhead. What is the difference here? This one is to salvage. Oh, the frigate module is for buying upgrades. Yeah, so I have some ancient keys here, um, but they're not for that. Yeah, I'm gonna get some store. Oh, ancient keys. Yeah, there we go. Ancient keys. Okay, at least we know what we can. Um, So save the game and um, we're gonna continue on the figuring out what the atlas is eventually gonna lead to um, next time so we're gonna continue so tomorrow um, we'll see tomorrow is rest of the wicked coming out but I don't it's gonna be coming to early access God knows if it's gonna be tanking or not in the first release moments um, people have a lot of high hopes for it one thing that uh, I say right now that looked a bit dodgy is they're charging quite a huge amount for very little according to their... Um, it depends how big the first chapter is. So basically they're saying they're releasing the first chapter and loads of loot and all that, yeah, and some repeatable stuff that you can do. But it's gonna be like $40 or something or $35, I'm not sure. So they're basically, and they're saying that is not even the full price that it's gonna be. So I'm assuming when they're finished, this is gonna be a $60 game or something. Yeah, from what I what I gather. Yeah, I'm making this amount up, but from the way they're talking about it, how it will get more expensive, you, you, you're probably talking a $50 or $60 game. It is a AAA company after all, um, given the money they have available to them. They're not double AA, definitely not indie anymore. Um, they're, they're double A to triple A. But charging up to nearly $40 for one chapter, unless it's a very big chapter, um, is, yeah, that's, uh, and, and then saying it's getting more expensive, that's something I'm not sure about, but we'll see. Um, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised, uh, uh, $90, game, $90 games, yeah. But um, the guys are honest developers, obviously. Yeah, it's. Um, I just find it a bit strange. Um, people compared it to Last Epoch, charging thirty-five dollars, and said, "Well, the, most people saying Last Epoch is done, completed, and it's thirty-five dollars still." Yeah. So they haven't increased the price. They were always like that. So if they were saying it's thirty-five dollars and it will never increase the price, you know, that's that's one thing. But charging. It, quite a steep price for potentially very little available gameplay we'll see we'll see so um, if it comes out tomorrow before I'm streaming I will definitely do a test uh, run of the game and see if it's uh, if I can run it locally and um, they also have released zero uh, system specs at this point I haven't checked they could be there on Steam now but um, uh, Wanderlei Silver he was UFC Genie Mac um, I have to check. I have to Google him now. See, <laughs> um, you have a lot of chronic fatigue since COVID as well. Along with getting headaches, I've been painting, painting more, drawing, spinning wool into yarn, and making the yarn into socks and such. Yeah, painting and drawing. I always enjoyed that. I think if I get to the point where where I can't play games anymore or something, I would probably go to painting and drawing as well. So yeah, but I definitely keep an eye out and will try to play it on my machine. And if they are gonna be on GeForce now, I will probably play it through that. But they have zero system specs announced, which is extremely strange for a game coming out in one day. So, um, which is very, very weird. And I think one of the developers or a representative or something said, well, if you can play, it will be, you will be able to play it on Steam Deck. And it's like, yeah, but that doesn't mean you can run it on a 1080 GTX. Um, actually, system requirements are there now. Yeah, I knew it. It's gonna be a 37 TTI. So whoever said it's gonna run on the low spec is rubbish because when you look at the trailer, you know it's gonna be a high requirement, but it's extremely weird range the lowest system requirement is a GTX 970 and the recommended a 3070 that seems extremely weird to have 
to basically say on lowest settings you can play our game with the GTX 970 but we would recommend a 3070 Ti what the hell like there must be like a huge what what type of settings are they so I mean if it would just be RTX uh, sorry if it would just be um, new technology the RTX stuff and all that you're talking a 2080 should be enough but a 3070 Ti recommended that is wow and an i5 12600k genie mark that's some high spec but they say you can run it on low spec on a GTX 970 which means my GTX 1080 should be running this just fine in medium settings which would be extremely unexpected if the recommended is a 3070 Ti so anyway I don't think their system specs is really down to be honest it just sounds weird to have the lowest the GTX 970 and then uh, 3070 Ti being recommended the gap is just too big just it doesn't make sense unless there's some f fantastical settings in there that just really go hugely jumping up in, in boost so anyway, um, but I enjoy the heck out of my man games. So Kicks, thank you so much. I very much appreciate it. Hidden Truth as well, Ethereum. Listen, I know it's not the most favorite game compared to other streams that we have, No Man's Sky, and it is a bit more of a relax, chill, travel, do random things, you know, see what happens. But um, I'm having a lot of fun, and as long as you guys enjoy it, at least some of you enjoy it as well, I appreciate it. So if you could leave a like on the way out, it would be appreciated. And I see you guys tomorrow. And... Um, until then, have a good time and stay safe. Bye-bye.